don't be a busy fool. <laughs> that was something that my father-in-law said to me, right? And I'll give you the story. So many years ago, uh, one of the businesses that I had, we were really busy, we were flat out busy. And I went to go and see him, we was having a chat. And essentially, my bank balance wasn't representative of how busy I was. And I was trying to like get some advice from him. And he said to me, don't be a busy fool. And first of all, I was like, is, is this guy trying to insult me? Anyway, when we had a conversation, it transpired that essentially, you know, and it's obvious, if you're flat out busy, you should be rewarded, that, you know, you should be rewarded for your hard work and effort. And I wasn't being rewarded for that financially in my bank account. So we did this in the end. We we strategized, we made a plan, and I went away and I thought about it. And essentially he said, if you raise your price, you decrease your volume. I was like, okay. But if I raise my price, I'm gonna lose customers. So in the end, I, I raised my price, I lost some customers, which, was, which I, I was warned about, but I was doing half the work for the same amount of revenue and income. And that always stood with me, that whenever you're trying to decrease volumes, all you've got to do is increase increase your price you will lose some customers but you lose some customers and then essentially you're going to gain uh, more revenue and have more time so you've got more time to do things that work for you and your business um, so I always say you know don't be a busy fool when you're in business when you're in life if you are flat out busy and it's not working for you you need to review everything immediately and do not be afraid to increase your prices and do not be afraid to lose customers as a result